Hey Aries, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, this is going to be your general weekly reading for December the 8th through the 14th. We're going to go ahead and jump right on in here. Aries, I do have personals open for a limited time. Um, they go over your next six months, messages from your guides, and um, you can add questions if you want. Um, so, my email is down below if you are interested. Uh, it's a five-day wait time, five-day turnaround time, whatever you want to call it. If you're interested, though, my email is down below and we can discuss it, okay? Uh, Aries, let's see here. Looks like you move backwards with something here. I'm seeing you get a little stressed over something. Uh, it just, it mainly feels to me as if there's some uncertainty here and that's where the stress is stemming from. Uh, you have the four swords as your overall recuperation, all right? I feel like it's really a time where things could get kind of busy. You know, you may have to take a step back and breathe and figure out what the next move is here. Um, really thinking before you react and respond is going to be key here. You have the chariot as your first card out, movement. So let's look at that for the eighth. What's going on with this? Again, I feel like you're just, you're kind of on the go here. Or there's just like quick movement when it comes to your reactions, your responses. Um, you have the nine of pentacles. I feel like money could be improving for some of you. Um, somebody could have Venus in Virgo here. I think money, uh, money matters could be improving. I also feel like there could be new environments um, that you're seeking out. You know, you're looking into new places or new place of work for some of you here. Um, there's something where it's like life is just too busy. I need, I need some organization. I need different structure to what's going on here. You have the wheel of fortune, fate. Sorry, you guys. I know that's kind of hard to see with my ring light. I'm just, I'm really not sure where to put it. <laughs> okay. Let's go on with the wheel of fortune here. On the ninth, uh, we have death and rebirth. Hmm. 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 Let's look at that, because that's kind of heavy energy for a week. <laughs> What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune, Death, and Rebirth? Queen of Pentacles, there's a person here. Um, this might be a Capricorn, okay? This might be a Capricorn. I've got Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo here as well. Wheel of Fortune can sometimes represent a return. So there could be somebody here who's feeling like something's not over. I think you're thinking it's over with the Death card here. Um, maybe you're standing on that decision, Aries. That could absolutely be the case. You have the Ace of Pentacles. They want to make some kind of offer, though. It could just be a peace offering, a truce. Sometimes the Four of Swords does represent a truce, and it is the overall energy here, so somebody could genuinely want to right their wrongs. A lot of people do this at the uh, towards the end of the year. They're reflecting on the year, uh, and also we do have a retrograde coming up, so that energy could be um, affecting this person here. They could be reflecting a lot. But yeah, I don't feel like it's necessarily over. I think that, you know, in your head, it's like the cycle has closed. You're not giving it a second chance. That could be the case for sure. You could have a definite answer about that. But I feel that whether or not you hear from this person, that's not over. Like the breaking communication, I don't feel that that's over, okay? Yeah, you have justice. I mean, they want to right their wrongs. Whether there is a restart or not, that's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel this person wanting to right their wrongs. Could be a Libra as well. Um, we have Five of Cups, Hope. Showing up here for the 10th. Four of Wands, completion. I feel more of a determined energy coming off of you here. Um, like standing your ground kind of energy. There's even a wheel in this card here. Oh, I forget what deck this is. Um, it's called Third Eye Tarot. Uh, I, don't, I can't see what this person's name is supposed to be. The creator. Brits. Brits Third Eye Tarot. Um... So yeah, no, it's not. Just kidding. It's Sun and Moon Tarot. Oh my goodness, I'm messing up here. By Vanessa Decourt. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce that, but it's Sun and Moon Tarot. Uh, but yeah, there's a wheel in that card there, so that is very interesting to me because we just clarified the Wheel of Fortune as a return here. Um, now, typically the five, the five of Cups is uh, disappointment, crying over spilt milk, but there are two cups left standing behind the figure. Here in this card, they label this as hope. So I feel like this is something turning around for you because this completed, this cycle has closed out here. Um, the Chariot. There you go. Um, a lot of you, I do think that there's been a business or, excuse me, a loss regarding work or business. I feel like this has already happened, though. You're looking for um, movement in another direction here, and that could possibly involve travel at some point here. You may be making plans to travel or move somewhere else. Um, you have the Two of Swords, peace. But I also feel that for those of you where that love situation resonates, um, the Two of Swords, they're labeling this a card of peace. She's got the arms crossed over the heart here. It's like, I'm content. I'm content with this closing out. You know, you had that completion card and the chariot. I'm fine with moving forward. I have hope that I will find something elsewhere. So that's the energy that I feel a lot of you moving into and expressing as well. But I do see you, you know, uh, letting go of some resentment that you've held on to here. You have the Nine of Cups, good fortune. What's going on with the Nine of Cups? 
Some of you could have Jupiter in Pisces or Mars in Scorpio here. Um, you have the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. A lot of support. You have a really supportive energy moving towards you here. It looks like it could be a water sign. You have the Queen of Wands in the reverse position, though. You may be feeling a lack of confidence, or this person feels a lack of confidence in fully coming towards you, fully opening up to you here. I feel like if you're lacking motivation, inspiration, drive, there are going to be high points throughout the week. And, um... The 11th could be one of those days where there's a high point here. When you feel that energy, grab onto it. It's like strike while the iron is hot. Yeah, you have the three of swords, sorrow, because I feel like there's an up and down. There's an up and down energy that comes with closing something out that you didn't expect to have. Okay, it's like maybe you didn't expect to um, be processing something so so difficult, right? Um, like maybe you thought, you know, like I said, I think there's a situation here where you think, oh, that's over and that's done and I'm, you know, completely fine and over. But once the... Once the closure actually happens, I feel like it could bring about this um, energy of sorrow that could move you up and down, okay? So definitely in those good moments, you want to grab a hold of those, you know, as long as possible. And um, when it comes to those moments where you're feeling the sorrow, you don't want to expand those, right? <laughs> so just be aware of that. You have the Magician Mastery showing up here. What's going on with the Magician? Prince of Swords, okay. Okay. There's a new skill you're going to be learning here, or there's something that you have your eye on. You're like, I want to learn that. I want to do that. I want to buy that. Buy that. Interesting. So, hmm. Um, eight of Pentacles. I feel like it could be something that makes you more efficient. Um, this could be something that, like, makes you more productive, that magician energy. Uh, so there could be something that you're wanting to buy or work on here um, that is going to allow for things to be a little bit more simple here. Yeah, Three of Pentacles works. <laughs> um, you could be collaborating with someone as well. Could be an air sign. I've got Virgo uh, as well. We have Four of Cups, Awareness, okay. Mucky energy here a little bit. So this is where I feel the stress kind of come in. Um, seven of Cups, Confusion. Like I said, it mostly surrounding uncertainty of something, like when something's going to happen, how it's, how it's going to happen, like are you going to hit a deadline, you know, something like that is going on here. Um, King of Pentacles, could involve work or money, duties, responsibilities, things of that nature. Um, you have the Ten of Cups, though. I think things are going to be fine, all right? I feel like things are going to be fine here. It could be home, family. Things are going to work out, okay, with the Ten of Cups energy showing up. But I feel I feel like there's a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental torture. I should have done this sooner. I should have done that sooner. That kind of energy is showing up here um, with the Nine of Swords. What's going on with the Nine of Swords for Aries? The Lovers, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, finally ending something here with the Ten of Swords energy. Somebody here could have, um, somebody here could be a Gemini Sun with some Aries placements, but I do feel like you're finally closing out a cycle here. I feel like it's a mental cycle, something that you've had on your mind for a long time. You've uh, struggled to let go of it with the Four of Pentacles here. It could just be limitations when it comes to your own capabilities, especially because I see you overcoming something you didn't think you could overcome. So, it's like, you know, that starts to change for you because you have the Lovers. You start to connect to your best version here which I feel is really going to, I feel like it's going to lead into this energy um, that goes into the new year of you like reinventing yourself uh, because I feel like this Four of Swords energy, that recuperation, that's where you're going to pause and be like, okay, maybe I can do more than I think I can do. Um, it's interesting. It is. But I do feel like there is a lot of support coming in for you, um, especially on the 11th. There's something significant with your relationships going on around the 11th, um, especially with this Princess of Cups energy. So it could be a water sign coming in, but I feel a lot of support coming towards you. Um, you know, and I do feel you may be feeling a little discouraged or a little bit untrusting of this support, but I think it's totally fine. Um, you may be feeling like it's too good to be true. I really don't think that's the case. I think you could just still be dealing with a little bit of sorrow from the past here, but that's what I'm seeing here for you, Aries. I do hope that this was helpful, okay? Um, if this is where we part, remember that I do have personals open, okay? Uh, my email is down below if you want to discuss, but this is where we part. Thank you for watching and you enjoy your week. Bye.